is all the credit. They came in, they defended at a high level, they executed, they didn't turn it over, they made shots. Thought we had a good first half, started off a little slow, ended up taking a seven point lead at the half. I think it was 10 points going into the second half, and all of a sudden we just started turning it over, turning it over, turning it over. Hard to win a college basketball game when you have 12 turnovers in the second half, and that, was, that did it. And do you think when Craig went down Porter, that, that kind of took the energy out of the, the team? It seems like right after that's when the big run happened. Yeah, and when he went down, I was trying to call a timeout, but Russ won't let the coach call a timeout. And we came right down and turned it over. They went right back and got a three. But, um, you know, other guys got to step up. We got a lot of guys on scholarship. Um, There's going to be injuries, so the other players got to step up. And we didn't step up tonight. We um, didn't make shots, and we just turned it over. You can't turn it over 12 times in college basketball in one half and expect to win. So we did it to ourselves. What does it say about him just at least coming back in the game and trying to look like he was in a considerable amount of pain there? Yeah, tough kid, wants to win. You know he's the leader of the team. The point guard is usually the head of the snake. He came back, and I'm, I'm excited that he was able to come back, but it just wasn't enough, and um, North Texas deserved a win tonight. Yeah, self-inflicted. It wasn't like they were pressing us or it wasn't like they were trapping ball screen. It was just us dribbling off our foot, us trying to make a pass that they got their hands on or dribbling into traffic, not kicking it out. Sometimes it was them doubling low posts. We just turned it over too much. In college basketball, you turn it over 12 times in one half, you're not going to win the game. Can't turn it over. You got to step up and make a shot. You got to move the basketball. I didn't. I felt like we moved it. We just couldn't make a shot, and we just kept turning it over. And when you get a drought like that, you got to go inside. Once we went inside, I thought Morris did a good job of drawing a foul. Sometimes they would double team us, and we didn't handle the double well. And um, give them all the credit. They played better than us today. It's a big concern, you know, this, this, this loss hurts. It's like all the other losses, but I think we all got to look in the mirror and just, you know, come up with a way with how can I affect the game without scoring? I think this team, you know, mindset, we're not a great scoring team as it is. So try to affect the game without scoring. Like don't turn it over, set a screen for your teammate, drive and kick, just play smart, intelligent basketball. And tonight I felt like they were the better team. Uh, got to make shots, number one. In order to be a good shooting team, you got to shoot um, some good percentages from the three, and we're not shooting great percentages from the three. Number two, you can't turn the basketball over. You got to take care of it. Um, I would say the last thing, just movement. I thought we had good movement tonight, but it's taking us too long to get into our stuff, and we're taking a lot of contested shots late in the shot clock. And so those similar things to maybe why Tyson wasn't able to find a rhythm today? They did a good job on him, you know, they guarded him well. Um, that's going to be like that all year long. You're going to have guys guarding you. Um, we as a team, we got to be able to make shots. Um, even when they're contested, we don't want to take contested shots. We want to move the basketball. We want to set screens to try to get our shooters open. But we got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. We didn't take care of it tonight. I got to go back and watch the film, I guess, during the game. I felt like every time we got in our offense, it stayed on one side a little too long. It wasn't that they were holding the ball or forcing it, but by the time they passed it, it was always a late clock situation, and we didn't do a good job reversing it. But then again, we got to step up and make shots. Guys that are shooters, when you're open, you got to be able to take those shots and hit them. When you turn those shots down and you make that extra pass, now it's giving you a late shot clock. 
uh, maybe a, a wake up call to these guys that you know if they don't spring it, that you know teams are going to come in there and you know, if they don't play play well, they're going to get beat. You got to play well. I mean, everybody on our schedule can beat you. Prairie View A and M can come in here and beat us. They've won some games against Power Five schools. The remainder of our schedule, anybody on our schedule can beat us. We can't take anyone for granted. We've lost two games at home now. We got to start playing better at home. And guys got to step up and make shots. We got to do a better job of not turning it over. And we got to defend at a high level. When, our, when we're not scoring, I feel like we don't stop defending at times. In order to be a great team, when you're not scoring the basketball, you got to let your defense be your offense, be able to get out in transition and get some easy ones. I told those guys it's too late to um, point fingers, pop, say you can't do that, you can't rewind the game. Um, give them all the credit. They played better than us tonight. Um, we didn't do a good job of playing smart basketball. We turned it over too many times. You can't turn it over 12 times and expect to win even when you're at home. I'm going to go back and watch the film. I told those guys we just got to get better. You got to learn from it. Um, you can't keep um, losing games because you turn the basketball over. And that was the number one key tonight. Twelve turnovers in the second half, just too many. I guess was there a foot injury update on Thompson? Uh, tendonitis in his knee. He was unable to practice yesterday. He couldn't go today, so that's why he didn't play. And is that just a day-by-day -day kind of thing then of how he's feeling or because of sensitive tendonitis? Or? Yeah, I think it's day-by-day. Day. It wouldn't shock me if he was able to practice tomorrow, um, just day-by-day, day, and today he couldn't go. Tough physical team that does a good job on offense. They don't, they don't turn it over, and they're solid on defense. Thought they did a good job of defending us. They did a good job on Tyson. They did a good job on Morris doubling the low post, and they were just on cue tonight. They played great. Um, they'll be a good team in our league, and um, we got to continue to try to get better. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Morris, you know, obviously all losses sting, but to, you know, go give up a 20 to nothing run in that second half, <coughs> what was the message to the team after this one? Man, we got to regroup, man. We just in the locker room just now, just thinking about what all of us could have done better, man. Tough one to lose. Lost one K-State interest bank. Lost another giving game that we paid them to come here and they beat us. It's tough, man. It's tough, man. for 
course, silly. I know I did some myself. Um, just got to keep playing. I know sometimes I was looking for the ref, but just got to keep playing. It's just we got to figure some things out. For sure, had a couple of them, man. Kind of just got to stop looking at the ref and just get back on defense, run back, man. Gave up some easies on the fast break. They got some easies and just, I mean, their lead kept on piling up, man. Credit to them. They have a great defense out there, a great coaching staff, and, you know, they came here and took one, man. Took a game that we're supposed to win. It's tough. Mo, have you been a part of a team that's had this many struggles with being able to score during stretches before? Or? <clears throat> Do you have any, I don't know, easy answer to just of what to maybe fix with it? It's a tough question, man. I just say we practice and regroup, man. But if I've been on a team, uh, I don't know. I love this team to death, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, and that yeah, wasn't a, a slight okay. anyone, yeah. Yeah. And Craig, how's your ankle feeling? Obviously, uh, it's uh, ice up right now. But. Yeah, I mean, it's still kind of hurting. Try to make a speedy recovery, especially for these guys. They know I'm gonna lay my life out there on the line for them, so I'm just gonna try to get back as soon as I can. So yeah, was there a, a doubt that you would be able to maybe come back today, or uh, in your mind now? In all honesty, I was back here trying to run. You know, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to. I kind of was telling myself I probably shouldn't because it was feeling pretty bad. But once I realized it was tied up, once I got back out there, and I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help my team, but it fell short. Just kind of going to look ourselves in the mirror. Each one of us going to look ourselves in the mirror and figure out what we can do better to help the team, man. So everybody has to sacrifice in the day. At the end of the day, they're going to call up the people who win the most. Like, you can't be losing games like this. Basically, we're telling ourselves and just trying to hold each other accountable in practice and just give out full effort every day, man. You can't slack in practice. When we get on one another, we got to hold each other accountable and just keep going, man, because it's a tough loss, man. But, like, at the end of the day, it's how you bounce back from these losses because – and every loss, you can grab something from it and, and improve. So that's what we're looking on doing. Did it seem like the game was a little slow? I mean, that, that play that Craig got hurt, and yeah. he's down for like 30 seconds, and the play just keeps going on. Yeah. They get a three. How big of a swing did that feel like? It's tough, man. I didn't even know Craig was down, but when I realized they didn't, they didn't stop the play, nothing, and get a three, that's, that's like a big momentum boost. You know, he's our he's our lead guard, he's our guard who just runs everything for us right and does everything correct, man. It's tough losing him down that stretch. Craig, just with, uh, with what you saw uh, in the game, you saw an offense, uh, you know, especially that second half, long stretches without points, just what has to be better on offense for you guys moving forward? Uh, I feel like we all have to get ourselves involved in other ways than just trying to dribble, go one-on-one, and just any way we can get our type, motion type of offense or just really listening to coaches, executing, and just playing for each other. And Ricky, what was kind of, like, kind of like what I asked Mo about just the locker room? What do you guys talk about after a game like this? I mean, is this kind of like a wake-up call almost? Yeah, like you said, just got to let each other look at yourself in the mirror. I know I do for sure. I'm about to for a long time when I get home. That's just what we got to do as a team. That's what we got to do to be great. So. It's a tough one, bro. We're going to figure it out, man. We just got to keep learning each other's games and uh, stop going on droughts for six, seven minutes where we're not scoring because we have the talent. <clears throat> we have all the talent in the room to not go on those kind of droughts. And obviously those droughts hurt, hurt us bad in the process, man, because if you're not scoring and they're scoring, it's bad. Appreciate the time. Thanks.